Hey Chris, what you designing? I am working on the compass to the heart. Compass to the heart. What what is this? This looks pretty intense. Let, let, t explain to me a little bit what's going on here. <laughs> Absolutely. This was a piece that um, was shown to me on the 1111 doorway. I was in Sedona at the stupa with several master uh, Buddhists and we were in a, a group meditation and this was shown to me in the meditation and it is uh, a collapsed wormhole that takes you directly into the sacred space of the heart. Wow. It is, uh, it, it is a map, it's a guide, mm -hmm. and when it's used in meditation, it, uh, it, it takes you through the space and it helps focus the ability to, in meditation to go into the sacred space of the heart. Oh, wow. So it's like it like gravitates you into the heart center. Absolutely. Okay. Wow. So have you worn one of these before or have you worked with this before? Um, in your own... Absolutely. Yeah? Um, at one point, um, I created uh, uh, several hundred of them for uh, children for the, the Phoenix Heart Institute for their oh. ball. Very cool. And so we were uh, raising money for children who uh, were in need to have heart replacements or heart surgery. Oh. So it was it was uh, it, it 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 was perfect timing. Mm -hmm. How you know, that's how the universe works. Right. And so I was able to uh, create it, and we uh, at the gala, um, uh, all of the people that were donating uh, large sums of, of money to mm -hmm. the children all got one of the pieces that's amazing so yeah, yeah it was it, it, the synchronicity was incredible yeah the time yeah have you felt the energetic shift um t with working with the compass of the heart absolutely what kind of shift do you feel um you know it's something that's grown and it's something that um uh has changed through time as well mm -hmm. uh, originally it was uh, like a turbocharger Mm -hmm. It, it definitely it takes you to where you go, but it also is something that um, it grows with you. It grows it, with you. Yes, it, it as as you open your heart, it opens you up as well. Oh, okay. And, and there's also a, a meditation that's going to go along with it. It's the beginning stages of connecting the sacred space of the heart to the mind, into the pineal gland. So wow. uh, there are meditations that go with it as, as well. Wow. Okay. Cool. So it connects the heart to the intuition, and um, it gravitates you to work with your heart energy. But it sounds like it doesn't do it in like an overwhelming um, way because you said like it grows with you. Yes. So it absolutely. sounds like the energy, like it, it opens you. It, it like what I call titrating the experience. So little by little, step absolutely. by step, as you're ready to go to and that next step. And it's not overwhelming. Okay. But it's very it's it's a very beautiful energy. It's a gentle absolutely. Gentle. But it it's it's literally if you travel through it here I'll I'll, mm -hmm. I'll kind of explain it and I'll do it in perspective here. Awesome. Right. This is typically this center gemstone that's right here. Yeah. Is it's a peridot, which is for the heart chakra. Yeah. A heart opening, but it's really a focusing lens. Okay. So imagine you're to travel through a microscope or you're going into a um, an expanded reality. Okay. You travel through the center here. I'll, I can. Yeah, right there take in this. that I'll centers. Take, and you can see what, oh, what it ignites. Okay. But I'll, I will remove this. Okay. It goes through the center. Uh huh. And takes you through. Uh, it's an elongated tube. It just mm -hmm. and uh, here I'll go back. And it takes you through here. I'll go the seed this of way. life. Yes, and it takes you through the seed of life. So it, it literally takes you through the center of a, a collapsed, let's call it a wormhole. Right. And it takes you in through the four directions. Mm. And this is uh, um, in the four directions, in the frequency of love, it's the heart in a vibratory state. Oh. That's why there, there's the multiple hearts that are interacting, they're vibrating. Yeah. And each one of those is the four directions. So the four yes. elements, yes. fire, air, earth, <laughs> water. And so it, it, what it feels like to me, and you tell me if I'm right about this, it feels like it brings that energy into the heart space and then expands it out. Absolutely. Okay. It, it works with the toroidal field of the heart as well. Got it. Okay, cool. And as you, and you end up going through the seed of life in this particular one, I can 
-hmm. the back it ends up with the seed that's the back of it yes that's beautiful so we're still still putting it all together and there's other variations we have where also there's gemstones at each of the corners mm. where um, I've also used the Hopi colors okay the the white the yellow mm. the red and the black okay so uh, uh, then I've had other variations as well where um, these expanding the rings it's it's the multi-dimensional expansion of love and going into the frequency wow. but I've also had variations where there's uh, diamonds that mm -hmm. are pave set into that mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. being the high vibrational stone the diamond is mm -hmm. it acts as an amplifier to even the peridot okay so uh it's it it can be even more involved and so you can customize it a little bit too absolutely very cool well thanks so much chris this has been amazing i i mean this is absolutely like a piece of it's not just piece of like fine jewelry it's it's definitely like an ascension machine is what is what it looks like to me Absolutely. so thank you so much for sharing this with us it's been my uh, pleasure yeah um, we look forward to seeing a little bit more about all of your interesting workings later on sounds okay. terrific thanks